Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today I've got a fun one. I have been wanting to make this video for a long time here. Uh, some of you may have those eagle eyes and have noticed this weird thing on the front of my brace. And this is something I've been waiting to show off. So let's take a look at this. A brace is a fantastic tool that will give you a ton of torque. Often this will give you far more torque than any battery powered drill cam just because of the throw of the arm is greater. Your actual lever arm is longer than it would be on a drill. Um, but the one downside is most all of these chucks are designed for a square tapered bit. For a long time the square tapered bit was the most common. It was just a very very simple design that worked incredibly well and held nicely into the chuck. It was a good way of connecting and making sure the bit was centered in the chuck. And so this was the design for well, hundreds of years actually. But then along came these weird fangled things with three jaw chucks. And three jaw chucks are great for holding something with six sides, but they're not great for holding something with four sides. And as braces started going the way of the dodo, we started getting hexagonal bits. And these actually are really, really strong. A good design, they're simple and easy to connect, gives you six sides, so a three draw chuck can lock onto them. The problem is, if you want to use an old fashioned brace, a lot of times you're gonna have problems with these. Now, some braces like this one have a two jaw chuck that will kind of work on this. It'll actually grab opposite corners and will hold a hexagonal bit okay. It still has a little bit of slop, a little bit of wobble, um, but it will run a hexagonal bit, just not amazingly well. A lot of the old braces though just will not fit a hexagonal bit. It won't work. You need a tapered square bit to lock into it. So the problem arises if I want to use a brace, I have to find bits with a tapered square end on them. And that can be more and more difficult. Most all of mine are antiques. These were all made a long, long time ago. And that's great, they can be sharpened, they can be cleaned up, but they only have so much life. Eventually you're going to sharpen the knicker off too much and you're going to run out of material or you're going to break the snail off and it's not gonna be able to pull in. Uh, they eventually wear out. There are a few companies that still make them and you can buy them new. Um, Irwin has a set that is, in all honest opinion, pretty much junk. Um, they're relatively cheap, but yeah, they don't stand up to the, the, the test that you want. They are off center. There's other problems with them. The times I've played with them, I really haven't liked them. And the couple people I've, I've talked to who have bought them just say they're not worth it. The only other option is there are a couple companies in Europe who still make them, but they're around $35 to $40 plus shipping to get them. And that is incredibly expensive to buy one bit. The only other option left is to buy antique. And usually you're gonna end up buying a dozen, two dozen of them to find one good bit that is still worth sharpening and using. And once you have a good set, you have a good set. And, and these two bladed designs from Irwin and Jennings, uh, they are phenomenal blades. They work incredibly well and they were the standard for hundreds of years. Augers were still around, but they were often these one bladed versions and they'd have one blade and then a spur over on the other side. And these are okay, but they're not great. They're, I mean, they're great for going through studs and doing electrical work and things like that. But for woodworking and joinery, this just is not a good design. And a lot of the good two-bladed designs kind of disappeared with time. But then we started getting these thinner flutes that actually had three blades on them. And these actually work really well. There is a spur on the end of each blade nicking the circle. And with the thinner flutes, you can actually get more space for the dross to be removed. So these actually started taking off, but the problem is... They've got a hex bit, and it's really hard to use that on my brace. I bought a few of these a while ago because I wanted to play with the three blade design. I had a lot of people who were saying that this is the way to go. It's a great bit. It actually cuts easier than the two bladed design. And so I bought a couple of them to play with, and the, the, the hex bit works okay in this. I went over to Vertis, and they actually make a small adapter for the quarter inch. And this works okay, but it's just... I don't know, there's just something about this that was loose, it wasn't a great design, and I didn't like the feel of it. Plus, most of these bits that have this quarter inch hex bit are just the cheaper ones, they're not as great of a bit. Several prominent woodworkers that I really trust started recommending the wood owl bits. They are three bladed augers, they're a really nice design, they're well made, they come from Japan. The problem is you have this big hex on here, 
and it doesn't fit into my quarter inch adapter. And so I had to fit it into this and it works okay, but it's a little bit sloppy in there. And there just wasn't a great way to use them. So I bought one, I tried it out, it was okay, but it wasn't what I was wanting. And I just kind of put it to the side and went out with one of these. But then Mike from Tay Tools called me and says, hey, we got this new adapter coming out that will work with the Wood Owl bits. Would you like to give it a try? Um, it's a prototype, it's the beginning model. And so I thought, yeah, I'd give it a try and uh, maybe you get a chance to then try out the Wood Owl bits. And with this, you tighten this down and this thing is, is rock solid. I have a, a solid connection all the way across. I can fit into my taper bit. And it's an incredibly solid, good connection that will allow me to use modern bits. Is it really worth it to get the new bits and the adapter when I have a full set of auger bits that do the work? And the more I used it, the more the answer was yes. This thing is incredibly good. These are amazing auger bits and they chop through wood incredibly beautifully. Clean, smooth circles, easy to work with the three blades that actually takes less torque. So even with the large diameter augers going through incredibly dense maple, hickory, oak, they chop through it very, very quickly because you don't need as much force on the brace to make it happen. You have three blades cutting into the wood, so each blade is taking a smaller bite, meaning less force, as opposed to the two blades of the historical ones. And the more I use this, the more I realized, yeah, it's definitely worth it to switch over to these because they are a far superior bit. And with the adapter on here, it works incredibly well. So you may have noticed me over the last few months using this. It is the prototype model. Um, so it was something I had to kind of play around with and give Mike some feedback on it. But they have the final one in stock. So just like the prototype, it's got this small nut on here. You can loosen and pull this out. You can lock it down and now this is incredibly solid. It's a little bit thicker metal on here. It is a really, really well-designed style that, uh, that works well. And so now we can put it in here, lock this down, and it's an incredibly solid connection in here. This bit will run true and cut a very, very clean hole. Even through something like a very dense white oak, this bites quickly, it drives in. I'm using little or no pressure to actually run it. Once the spurs engage, we get a nice clean cut and it doesn't take much force at all to drive this around. Even for instance here, I'm gonna use my pinky and just with one pinky going through a one inch hole in white oak, it cuts beautifully. It doesn't take much force at all. And you're left with this incredibly smooth hole. Very, very clean, very, very smooth, very sharp edge. I'm just, I'm in love with the holes that these create. I was originally thinking I was going to do a whole test on auger bits and test out a bunch of different types and a bunch of different styles. Um, but Mike actually went ahead and did that and did a, a full test comparing the holes and how clean they cut on a whole bunch of modern augers. Um, so I'm going to leave a link to that information down below. It was very, very cool, but it was obvious that the, the wood owls came out on top. It is an incredibly good bit. And with the adapter, now you can use it. So originally I got a few of these to replace some of my common auger bits, but now I'm actually going back and I'm buying a full set because I, I want to use these in their entirety. The problem is they don't fit as well in my old holder because some of them have sunk down in there. They're shorter than this. So I'm gonna be making a new tool holder here soon. Um, so we'll be able to see how I can make one for my new auger bits. So if you want to see a link to the adapter as well as the auger bits, I have links to that down below. Those are affiliate links, so thank you. If you do use those, they do help out the channel. Also, we talked with Mike, and he is going to be giving a discount to anyone who buys the bits, as long as you use the code WOODOWL10. I have that spelled out down below. Or you have the option to get a tool roll. So if you get a whole set of them, you can get a tool roll to wrap them up. For that, you have to use the code WOODOWLROLL. And I'll have both of those written out down below so you can see those. So it's kind of a cool opportunity. If you want to get it, this is probably the cheapest time you'll ever have to, uh, to find them. I really didn't want this to seem like an advertisement. This is something that is, is new to me and has kind of changed a lot of the things I do in the shop. So I wanted to show this off because it's really, really cool. And anytime that there's a, a new tool that comes out that does actually change something is something that I adopt. And this one definitely fits that category. So very, very cool. I do want to say thank you to everyone who uses the affiliate links. It's not a huge amount of money, but it is a nice benefit. So thank you for that. It's a way that you can help out the channel by just buying things that you normally buy. So if you ever want to see that, there's links down below as well as the links on my site. A lot of those are affiliate, not all of them, but many of them are. 
And as always, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon, members on the channel. Without you, this channel would not exist. It is by far the biggest source of income for the channel keeping us going. So thank you for that. If you want to find out more about that, you can click the link down below or click the join button. And if you do ever meet anyone who's scrolling over here on the side, tell them thank you. They're the ones literally keeping the lights on. So I think that'll about do it for today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Do you hear that? That's why they're called Wood Owl.